Welcome back second graders. Today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020, and today is our second day of our a hat and accessories week. Today I have a fun little accessory that belongs to my daughter that I wanted to show you guys. It's her little kitty purse or animal purse. She loves playing with this and stuffing all different toys inside of it and wearing it around her around her waist, or like around her neck like a little hipster pocketbook. So this is a fun little accessory that belongs to my daughter. Awesome. Let's jump in here to today's problem solving task. So yesterday we spent some time doing some measuring and comparing those lengths. Well, today we are going to be practicing doing some addition and subtraction with um, measurements. So a lot of the stuff that we learn in first grade, um, uh, first grade, a lot of the stuff that we can learn in second grade um, can be put into word problems. And that's exactly what we're going to be using today. So these are going to be measurement word problems where we're going to have to use what we know about solving word problems and about measurement to help us um, solve these problems correctly. So it's a little bit of a review from our um, uh, beginning unit in the beginning of first grade, but now these problems have to do with just measurements. So let's jump in here. So it says, Mr. Gilbert has a fence that is 516 feet long. He decides to take down part of the fence because it was damaged accidentally by Mr. Scott. The damaged part of the fence is 187 feet. How long is Mr. Gilbert's fence now? Show your work. Awesome. So what I want you to do here is I want you to pause the video. I want you to write a number sentence and I want you to solve using any strategy that works for you. If drawing a key helps you as well to make sure you really understand what these numbers um, represent and what you have to do to solve, definitely do that. But we're going to be going over number sentences and different strategies to solve this problem. Go ahead and pause the video. Great. Hopefully you've had a chance right now to solve this problem. And now let's go over it together. Remember, we are going to be using addition and subtraction to solve word problems with about measurements. So we know that Mr. Gilbert's fence is 516 feet long, but he has to take down a part. This idea of taking down, that means he's going to have less of his fence. So less. Um, and he, the reason why he has to do that is because it's damaged. And that part that was damaged measures 187 feet. So if he has 516 feet, but then he has to take down 187 feet of it because it's damaged, we have to figure out the new length of Mr. Gilbert's fence. And that means we need to do some subtraction. So I'm going to start with the total length, 516. And I'm taking away the length of just the damaged part to figure out how much of his actual offense Mr. Gilbert has left. So let's show you a couple different strategies to solve this problem to get your answer. So I'm going to split my paper in half here. And the first strategy I'm going to show you is base 10 blocks. Setting up with my hundreds, my tens, and my ones. So I'm going to start, because this is subtraction, I'm going to start with my total. So I'm going to draw 516. That's one group of 10 and six ones. Remember, when you're solving any math problem, make sure your work is neat and organized so you're not making any silly mistakes. Now, I'm going to take away 187. So I'm gonna start with my ones. I have to take away seven ones first, but when I look here, I don't have seven ones to take away. Because of that, I need to get more ones, and I get more ones by regrouping from the tens place. I'm going to regroup my 10 for 10 ones because one group of 10 has the same value as 10 ones. Now I'm able to take away seven. I have more than enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm left with nine. Awesome. Now I have to take away my tens. I have to take away eight tens, but I have no tens anymore because I regrouped the one that I had. So I have to regroup one of my hundreds for 10 tens. 10 tens has the same value as 100. So now I'm able to take away my eight tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm left with two. Great. 
Now I can take away my hundreds, just one group of 100, and I'm left with one, two, three. Okay, so the first time I solved it, I got 329, and that was solving the, with the subtraction number sentence. I'm gonna check my work now, and I'm gonna check my work by doing a different strategy. I could do the subtraction algorithm over on this side, but what I'm gonna actually do is I'm going to add the parts that I know together. So I just figured out that I think my answer is 329, and that represents the, miss, the, to, the total length of Mr. Gilbert's fence now. But if I take that part and add it to my other part, I should get 516. And if I do get 516, that means that I solved it correctly. So let's take a look here. I'm going to start with my bigger part, 329, and I'm going to add 187 to it. This strategy is solving with the inverse, checking your work with the inverse. So let's add by adding my ones together. 9 plus 7, that equals 16. So that's 6 ones, and I regroup my 10 ones into my tens place because it has a value of 10. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 8, that's 11. So that means 110 is in the tens place, and I regroup my 10 tens into the hundreds place because 10 tens has the same value as 100. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So I got 516, which means that 329 is the correct answer because 516 is the same total that I got here and I had to start with. Awesome. So today we are going to be practicing um, solving more measurement word problems. So let me turn my page here. And we're going to do the first one together, and I'm going to have you do two by yourself. A runner has been training for the Boston Marathon. In her first month of training, she ran 96 kilometers. The second month, she ran 82 kilometers. This month, she ran 79 kilometers. How many kilometers did she run to prepare for the race? Remember, this word problem um, has kilometers as the unit. Kilometers is the way that you measure really long distances that you would travel by car or by train or by bus or by plane um, in the metric system. In our customary measurement unit, we would use kilometers um, to represent, we would use the version of kilometers that we would use would be miles, okay? So really, really long distances. Awesome. So if we're gonna go over this together, we know that the runner is training for the Boston Marathon, and we know the total, we know um, how much she trained for the first three months, the first month, the second month, and now this month. And we had to figure out how many kilometers did she run to prepare for the race. So that to me is asking me how many total kilometers. I'm looking for the total number. So I have to add how many um, how many kilometers she ran in the first month, the second month, and now this month. So it says here that she ran 96 kilometers in the first month, then the second month she ran 82 kilometers, and the third month she ran 79 kilometers. So I'm going to add these three numbers together. But I'm never going to add three numbers together. I need to just add two at a time. And when I add two at a time, I need to look at my ones place to see if any of these numbers would make a friendly 10. Would these make a friendly 10? I don't think so. Six and two make eight. Two and nine make 11. Nine and six make 15. So none of these are gonna equal a friendly 10. So I'm just gonna start by adding the first two numbers. I never wanna add three numbers at a time because that's when I make silly mistakes. So I'm gonna add my first two numbers and then take that answer and add it to my third number. So 96 plus 82. Doing a little algorithm work. Six plus two is eight. Nine plus eight, that's a tricky fact power one, but we know that nine plus eight equals 17. So that means you have seven tens and you regroup your 10 tens into the hundreds place. So one plus zero is one. So we have 178 and now we need to add it to the last number in our number sentence. 178 plus 79. I'm choosing the algorithm here, but if that's not the strategy you prefer, you can definitely use another strategy. I think it's the quickest one, and it's the one that will help you the most when you start third grade. Starting with my ones, eight plus nine. Oh, we just figured that out. It's 17. So seven ones, regroup 10 ones into the tens place. One plus seven is eight, 
8 plus 7 is 15. So that's 5 tens. Regroup 10 tens into the tens place. 1 plus 1 is 2. Awesome. So she ran 257 kilometers to prepare for the race. Fantastic. Now I have two other word problems for you that I want you to work on. I'm going to zoom out so you can see both of them. And I want you to work on these two problems. And uh, to do so, please pause the video right now so that you can start working on them. Uh, we'll go over the answers to these problems when you're done. Hopefully you've had a chance uh, to pause the video and answer questions two and three. Let's take a look at question two first. Question two says, Darius runs six miles every six miles during every track practice. If he has track practice every day this week, how many miles does Darius run? This is tricky. So I know that he runs six miles every track practice. And I know that if he has track practice every day this week, how many miles does he run? So I need to figure out the total number of miles that he runs. But the problem here is every day this week. I need to do some thinking and figure out how many days are in a week. Well, there are seven days in a week. So that means that if he's at track practice every day this week, that represents seven days that he's running. So I know I have the number seven, I have the number six, and I have something I'm solving for. Seven represents the number of track practices, right? Because he's practicing, uh, he's going to track practice every day. And that each track practice, he runs six miles. So six is the number of miles each practice kind of using abbreviated language here. And now I need to figure out my total number of miles. When you were figuring this out, I hope that you realize this is a multiplication problem. I have, I know that at every track practice, I run, he runs six miles and he goes to seven track practices in a week. So how many miles does he run for that entire week? So this would represent <clears throat> seven groups of six. Seven is the number of the number of track practices, groups of six miles during each practice. So he runs six miles during each practice. How many does he run um, for all seven days? So that means I can do some repeated addition here to solve, because remember we're talking about using addition and subtraction to solve measurement problems. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one more makes seven. So let's do some doubles facts. Six and six, 12. Six and six, 12. Six and six, 12. And then just one more six. 12 and 12, 24. 12 plus six, that's 18. So now I don't have a ton of space here, so I'm gonna go over here. I have to add 24 and 18 together. I'm gonna do that in a quick algorithm. Four plus eight is 12. So two ones, regroup my 10 ones into my tens place. One plus two is three, and one more makes four. So seven groups of six equals 42. So Darius run, ran 42 miles during that week. Awesome. And the other question that you had to solve was, an artist bought two canvases to paint on. One canvas was 119 centimeters and the other canvas was 256 centimeters. How much longer was the second canvas? So this again is reminding me of the problems we were solving yesterday together. So it's not asking me how long are these two canvases all together. It wants to know how much longer the second canvas is. That means we're comparing these lengths of the canvases. We know then the second one, so number two, is 256 centimeters. We know the first one is 119 centimeters, number one. 
So now we need to figure out the difference between the two, how much longer the second um, canvas is than the first. So that means we need to solve with some subtraction. So I'm gonna take 256 and I'm gonna subtract 119. Six minus nine, I can't do that because six is a smaller number. So I need to get more ones. So I regroup from my tens. Instead of having five tens, I now have four. And instead of having six ones, I now have 16 ones. 16 minus nine equals seven. Four minus one equals three. And two minus one equals one. So the second canvas is 137 centimeters longer. Awesome. If any of these questions that we went over today were confusing at all, if you need a little help from your teacher just remembering how to solve these word problems, uh, definitely please reach out to them. Um, uh, or if you have a meeting scheduled with them, definitely bring this up in your meeting. Right now is your chance to go ahead and solve your exit ticket. Your exit ticket uh, is attached to this lesson on Seesaw. And if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and keep sending in those hat and accessories week's pictures um, so that uh, your teachers can see them and the school community can see them uh, and smile. Awesome. See you guys tomorrow.